To have a classic winner is every breeder, owner and trainer's dream. This year, for Curra-based trainer Ken Condon, that dream became a reality when Romanised defied his odds and stole the show on Irish 2000 Guineas Day. Ken has been carving a name for himself among the Irish training ranks, and his efforts certainly seem to be paying off. With the news that Ken has purchased a historic yard on the Curra, a recent trip down under, and now a classic one under his belt, 2018 looks set to become a memorable year for Condon Racing. That, that realisation is, is, is settling in and um, it's, it's a great feeling waking up every morning and, and knowing we've done it. It's great, it's been super. All winter we had that belief in him that he was, you know, he was capable of, of mixing it in, in that kind of company and he was very much in mind for Newmarket and um, um, it was re re really only possibly a week before Newmarket that we finally decided to give it, give it a swerve. Um, his, his work was nice but just wasn't really um, where you'd really want it to be going to Newmarket first time. His work uh, on the Tuesday before the Guineas and Saturday was the best he's done all spring. It was really what we were all looking for. Was he just worked particularly well and we were all very pleased and I think you know that's what we were looking for and then you know I was um, I was quite happy that, that he when he would run in, in, in at the Curra that he would would be capable of a big performance once he relaxed early. It's a horse that when he started off, um, he just was inclined to maybe uh, overdo it early and you can't afford to do that um, in a classic over a mile, you know, certainly in any race. You, to give yourself the best chance, you need to spare your energy and use it, use it in the right way. So thankfully he did that and um, as we saw on the day, he was, he, was, he was quite impressive and went to the line very strongly. Very fast run race, the Curra is one of the fairest tracks in the world. He, he did his last bit of fast work uh, with that in mind yesterday, Tuesday, this week. Um, the plan is he travels Sunday morning. He should arrive in Ascot at 5 p.m. Uh, Sunday evening. And um, yeah, look, uh, all the signs are very good with him. Yeah, haven't, uh, he's, he's just doing routine work since he came back, uh, or since, uh, since the Curra. But all the signs are very good. He's, he's training well, he's moving well, he's happy. Uh, his weight is, is sort of bang on, and um, you know, all the other checks that you, that we do in, in the, ra the week leading up to the race have all been good. So, um, yeah, please God, he gets a bit of luck on the day, um, with you know, with a draw and different things in the race, and uh, he can deliver another good performance. <laughs>